I have to take myself to the hospital. I'm trying to push through, I'm trying to train, I'm trying to get through it, but my body is just failing at this point. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back with another bodybuilding news video. And let's kick this one off with updates here from Good Vito, four and a half weeks out of the Arnold Classic South America, where he's going to be up against the likes of Rafael Brandau, which is going to make it very tough because Rafael, two years ago, was top 10 in the Mr. Olympia. He's added seven, eight pounds from that, just placed third in the Arnold Classic in Columbus. So it's going to be a tough contest there for Good Vito, no doubt. But he's not just going to compete in that show. He's going to move on and compete in the Detroit Pro as well, where he is confirmed. But he's going to have some really stiff competition there as well. So it's going to make it hard for him to qualify for the 2024 Mr. Olympia, unless he does other shows after that, or he just sort of shocks us all. But trusting good Vito's physique update pitches is sort of like trusting a partner that cheats on you. Like, they might be faithful, but probably not. So <laughs> he might show up looking like his physique updates, but... Probably not. Now, he's working with Chris Aceto, who tends to bring guys in really, really good shape. But will it be his best physique? Or I'm sure it will be his best best physique, but will it be enough to beat out some really good names like a Martin Fitzwater, who's competing in that 2024 Detroit Pro? And shout out to Martin, because these are exclusive physique updates that he has not posted as yet. Because he said he's posting them tomorrow, unless he gets the idea to post them before this video actually goes up. But... Regardless, Martin is looking really damn impressive five and a half weeks out of Detroit. And I think, honestly, he's going to be going in as either the favorite or one of the joint favorites. You've got Carlos Thomas Jr. in there as well, a whole bunch of other names. But I've got to think that Martin has the proven track record, second at the Texas Pro, where you know some people had him winning. He won the back shots. You can debate that he won the side shots. I'd say so. And you, know, you can say the front shots went to Andrew, but... Regardless, he is a formidable competitor. He beat out Kamalo Gagne in that show. He beat out Quentin Araya in that show. He beat out Steve Kuklo in that show. And that's why I wanted him in that Arnold Classic last weekend. I really, really did. But regardless, that's in the past now. And Martin, I think, is going to be a pro contest winner before this year is out. And I think he's going to be placing inside the top 10 of Mr. Olympia. You heard it here first. That's what I'm saying. So let me know what you think about Martin Fitzwater's latest physique updates in the comments below. Now let's get on to Samson Dowder and Milo Sarchev going their own ways, splitting. Samson's obviously going to get a new coach at some point, but we'll get to that in just a moment. But Samson appears to have taken himself to hospital and is he out of the 2024 Arnold Classic UK, which is on in just one and a half or just over one week's time. And also there's rumors going around that Hardy still hasn't been approved to go into the UK as well. So is Samson and Hardy out of the 2024 Arnold Classic UK, which would open it up for a completely different winner. Guys like James Holling said, we'll have to wait and see if Raphael decides to go over there and potentially pick up a win. But anyway, this is what Samson had to say on his IG just recently about potentially going to hospital as well. I have to take myself to the hospital to get checked out because I don't know, my body is just... I'm trying to push through, I'm trying to train, I'm trying to get through it, but my body is just failing at this point. And honestly, I just don't know what else I could do. So given what is happens to me in the next few days after we get checked out in the hospital and um, what happens and the results of that, it will determine if I will be doing the Arnold Classic UK next week. And honestly, my heart breaks for Samson. And people say, oh, well, Samson's doing well. He just plays second in the Arnold, you know, why is he complaining? Now, his body, like he said, is failing on him. This is obviously serious. Health should be number one in this sport, no matter what. Now, we obviously know this is an extreme sport, so you're not doing this to be the healthiest person on the planet. But to the point where he feels like he has to go to hospital, for what exact reasons, I'm not 100% sure, but he feels like his body is failing on him. And that is scary. And I've mentioned this in podcasts before, but just recently, actually, about Samson maybe needing to take some time off because he really does push himself hard to get down. And maybe missing the Olympia, not competing for the rest of the year, and maybe coming back at the Arnold or another show next year, that might be a good idea for Samson, just to take a bit of time. And do people really think Samson is going to win the Olympia this year? He could. But by the sounds of this video, if his body's at that stage of you know complete stress and all that sort of stuff, 
it might be a good idea to, for Samson to take a little bit of time, freshen his body back up, and then he'll just respond so much better. But regardless, my heart goes out to Samson in the situation he's in uh, right now. Now, this was posted up by Milos Sarchev uh, with this accompanying video saying, after two and a half years and 13 shows together, this was our last dance. Needless to say, I am beyond proud of Samson and what he's accomplished in a very short time that we worked together. He has completely transformed his physique and morphed into one of the very best bodybuilders in the world and the greatest threats to the Mr. Olympia title. As the whole world knows, with improved conditioning that we failed to bring, in brackets, he would be extremely hard to beat. Wishing Samson and Marlena all the best in the world, and most importantly for Samson, fulfillment of his destiny. But he put hashtag the next, as in the next Mr. Olympia. So Milos and Samson, their coaching journey, their... Their journey to try to win a Mr. Olympia is over, which this would have been incredibly tough for Samson too. Now, maybe part of Samson not feeling good right now is the fact that he's got that stress of of talking to Milos and having that conversation and 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 you know leaving Milos as a coach. And he knows this would be incredibly tough for Milos. Milos loves Samson. He really wanted to take him to the Mr. Olympia title, but it leads to the question. Who will Samson go with next? Now, there's tons of great coaches out there. you got Matt Jansen. you got Hani Rambod. you got Chris Aceto. There's, there's tons of names. There's tons of names out there. But I'm mentioning, obviously, just some of the big ones there off the top of my head. Chad Nichols. There's a whole bunch of names. And there's a lot of new guys coming through as well. There's Andrew Vu. There's too many guys to mention, honestly. But let me know in the comments. Who do you think Samson will go with next? And do you believe we'll see him on stage at the 2024 Arnold Classic UK? Because it obviously has to be serious for Samson to be contemplating not doing the show in his home country to win what is, I can't remember the exact prize for first place, but is it 100? Is it over 100? I can't remember the actual first place prize, but he's got to be the favorite to get it if Hardy's out potentially, or at least a top two spot where he's going to get a considerable amount of money. So for Samson to be potentially out of the Arnold Classic UK and Hardy potentially out of the Arnold Classic UK as his visa, I don't believe is fixed at this moment unless there's been some news breaking while I'm recording this video or shortly after. So really that opens the door for someone else to come in and, and win that title as well. But I want to mention as well, Fuad Abiyad on that post to Milos Sarchev spoke and said, Samson has no health issues. Samson is not in the hospital and Samson is not retiring. That should clear up some of the oh, I've got something over it. Some of the rumors before they start. Milos, you've done a good job with Samson. Congrats on your partnership. So he says he's not in hospital. So Samson did say he was going to hospital. I don't know exactly what's going on, but regardless, I wish Samson all the best, and I really, really hope he gets his health in order. That's the main thing, and we get to see Samson back at his best at some stage. But I don't think Samson needs to be stressing about that right now. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below. Who do you think will win between Good Vito and Martin Fitzwater when they go head-to-head -head at the Detroit Pro? Or do you think Carlos Thomas will come out on top or another bodybuilder that might be competing there, like Antoine Valiant, who's a possibility for that one as well? Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. If you did enjoy this video, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button. Also, subscribe and click the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up from myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. And check out our new channel. I don't know which way I need a point. Um, it's Desktop Bodybuilding Podcast and Interviews. We'll have all the long-form stuff on there, and Bodybuilding University is coming back soon. I've got a full interview with Nathan Diasha on there now where he puts out some pretty interesting information on competition prize money. Uh, we talk about the Arnold Classic. He has some bold uh, views on that. So make sure you check it out. I'll put the link to that in the description below. And that's it for me. My name's Xavier Wills. This is Desktop Bodybuilding and we are out.